Afro House has seen a rapid rise in popularity lately, with artists like Kinda Music, Black Coffee, Night Freak and more leading the game. This subgenre of house music emerged in South Africa in the 90s, but now it has spread to all corners of the globe. I'm Yannick from the Produce School and in this video I will show you how to create an Afro House track in a style similar to Kinda Music and Black Coffee. I will cover things like the drums, percussion, synths, sound selection, arrangement and more. So after watching this video, you have a clear understanding of how you can create your very own Afro House track. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and with that being said, let's get straight into this. All the sounds including the project file of this video are from our pack Oasis which is the ultimate Afro House producer pack which includes serum presets, project files, samples, vocals and so much more. Um, if you want to check it out then use the link in the description or click the link over here and any support is always appreciated. Let's first start off with the most important elements of this track which are the kick. When selecting a kick for your Afro House track, you usually want to go for a kick that doesn't have too much attack or a click at the start, but it should have a really deep and uh, low punch like this kick has. So there's not too much click at the start, but it's very um, deep and clean. So a different kick um, like this one, which has a more click and more attacky uh, start of the sample wouldn't work for, for this Afro House track, but you could use it for a little bit more like harder Afro House tracks. But this one is more like a chill one, so I use this pretty solid uh, kick. Underneath the kick drum I put a thumb loop, which sounds like this on its own. And this thumb loop is used to set the groove and rhythm of the track and also fill up the lower part of the frequency spectrum for a part. There is a little bit of processing going on on this thumb loop. Um, which is an EQ, which removes some of the low end until around 80 hertz. And I did this because there will be a bass layered underneath this, which will be more like a sub bass. So that bass will really take care of the low frequencies. And this thumb loop plays a more important role for the low mids and giving that track the rhythm and the groove that it has. So I rolled it off until 80 hertz and then um, I also uh, lower down a bit of the high end because I wanted to remove a little bit of the click the Tom has. So I lower it down a little bit. And then there's a kickstart on it um, for some side chaining because I didn't want it to be clashing with my kick. So it's ducking in whenever the kick hits. You can see the kick here as well. After having that foundation ready, I added this shaker, which is a very noisy kind of shaker and when I open up the pattern you can see that I played in some MIDI notes with the shaker sample from the Oasis pack like that um, and if you look closely to the MIDI you can see that I added some velocity changes so it sounds a little bit more realistic even though I wanted the shaker to be kind of um, electronic as well um, but this also helps adding some rhythm and groove to the track. So the shaker has some interesting uh, effects on it. Um, first of all, there's an EQ, which just boosts a little bit of the treble. So it's a little bit better hearable in the mix. Um, a fruity balance, which is not doing anything. And then there is this stock plugin from FL Studio called Vocodex on it which normally is a vocoder plugin, but instead of using a synth uh, to modulate the sound, I use this noise section over here. And this basically lets you add white noise uh, to the sample. Um, I EQ'd it over here, so it only really has that high end. Um, you can play around with the wet level, so it's not uh, that loud. And then there is this knob called release and this one is really interesting because if you automate it uh, you can make it the white noise um, you can basically make it longer so that will sound something like this 
and you get this really noisy shaker sounds. And using that release to modulate the length of it is a technique that Kind of Music also likes to use when you listen to their tracks. You get this electronic white noise counting shaker, which sounds really cool. You can use it in transitions or like build it up more. Then I added this high wood percussion uh, shot. There's some reverb on it. Then I added this tom at the second and fourth bar each time. Um, the tom sounds like this on its own. Processing on it, which removes uh, the low end of this tom. So this shot is just hitting for some variation. This tom is more like a realistic tom rather than this tom loop, which is more like an 808 kind of tom more electronic. Then there are two more shaker loops that are added. First one sounds like this. And to put these kind of shakers at the end of every bar was inspired by the Rapture by Kind of Music and Black Coffee where they also have this kind of one hit shaker at the at the end here, which sounds like this with the other drums. Then I added this real shaker loop together with the other drums. After having the foundations of the track ready with the drums, I added this really low uh, sub bass, which is playing on top of that. Um, it sounds like this on its own. So it's basically one sustained note on the E. Um, it's a serum preset called Bass South and It's a saw wave table that has been filtered a lot, so it's more like a sub bass. The only processing that's going on on this bass is a kick start for some side chaining, so it doesn't clash uh, with the kick. And there is a fruity filter which is used for a high pass filter, like this. So it filters out the low frequencies. Together with the drums that I just showed you. What this bass essentially is doing is that it fills up that really low end of the track. It's not adding any rhythm or groove because that's something that the tom loop is already doing. Now let's move on to some of the synths that have been used in this track. First of all, there is this very high um, synth sequence loop or synth cushion as you might call it, um, which sounds like this. And it's this sequence preset from our Oasis pack. You can basically just press one note and then it creates this nice, very high synth sequence. For the processing, there is an EQ to remove the low end and a little bit of boosting for the very high end. Then there is a panomatic, which makes it pan from left to right. So basically it's an LFO modulation on the panning. You can hear if you listen on headphones or speakers properly um, that it goes from left to right as you also see over there. A kickstart for some basic side chaining and a fruity filter to filter uh, the sound during the track in the arrangement. So you can open it up like this. Another key element of this track is the top lead, which was recreated from The Rapture, um, a track by Kind of Music and Black Coffee, um, which sounds like this. So it's also playing um, that pattern over here. And the filter cutoff is being automated during the track, which I will show you more in the arrangement part. I also added this effect sound uh, on top of the track, which is a preset called Lead Send. And using the sound was inspired by some of the sounds that Enmi is using in these tracks, uh, like those little effects at the end of the bar, uh, like this one, 
which together with um, all the sounds that's really cool. On its own, it might sound a little bit weird, but together with everything, um, it adds a nice little touch to the track. Another layer of the track is this pad sound, um, which is playing a simple E minor chord, which is um, the root note of the track. Um, it sounds like this. First it filters and it opens up during uh, the track. It's not that loud in volume because it's just there to fill up a little bit more space in the track, add some ambience to the track. Um, because without it, it sounds like this. And then with. It's adding this nice spatial layer underneath everything. And it opens up gradually during the track. The piano is also an essential element in Afro House. You can hear them in so many of the Afro House tracks, um, also in the Rapture Part 3 by Kind of Music. And for that reason, I also introduced a piano later in the track. Um, it plays these chords. For this piano, I'm using a stock plugin from FL Studio called Direct Wave, which is just a sampler um, and with the preset closed grand. Sounds pretty cool. Um, there are some effects on it which are EQ to remove the low end because the bass is already taken care of that. Um, an OTT for some multiband compression pretty high depth level, then a reverb to make it really big and atmospheric. And a kickstart over here, um, which is just adding a little bit of side chaining to the chords. Then in a different pattern, there is the same piano, uh, which plays a little top melody. Very high. To make this track a lot more interesting, I added this vocal from our Oasis pack, which was in the key of the track. There is some processing going on on this vocal, which first of all is an EQ, which rolls off a lot of the low frequencies. For here. Then there's a delay, delay three, um, just some basic ping pong delay, nothing crazy. And a reverb to add a little bit more room to this vocal. And together with the other elements, it sounds something like this. Then let's check out some of the effects which are playing throughout the whole track. First of all, there is this ambient sound, which is basically some vinyl or white noise. And using texture sounds like these is something that I really recommend doing uh, when creating Afro House because it's adding that kind of human or organic touch to your tracks. And you can hear that in so many Afro House tracks as well. Um, then there's this drone sound which is playing the root note of the track. Uh, so it's pitched up to the E. Just low in volume. But it's adding this nice ambience. For the rest, there are not that many um, effect sounds in the track. Um, some basic uplifters and downlifters, white noise. Which are just there to help with the transition, add some variation to the arrangement. Just very, very basic. In the last part of the track, I also introduced some more uh, drums. Because first of all, I showed you only this until here. But to spice some things up, I added another shaker loop. 
which is kind of a tambourine sound. And head loop, acoustic head loop. Another head which is playing this uh, rhythm. But it's not that loud in the mix. And a clap. Which is also not that loud in the mix. And at the start of every four bars, I also added some extra toms. Like that. This gives a little more impact uh, to that part. Now let me quickly go over the arrangement. The track starts off with just a few elements, which are the high synth cushion sound. But it's being filtered a lot. The kick. Tom and the noise head and um, FX sound is also played here then after 16 bars um, the bass is introduced as well as the lead sound but also the lead is filtered a lot so it's not fully there yet then after another 16 bars, the pad is introduced as well as this shaker loop. And now it starts just gradually building up more and more. So you can hear that um, the pad sound, the filter is opening up. Same goes for the lead. And then after another 16 bars, um, the kind of chorus starts, which is uh, the vocal. And as you can hear and see, the bass is changing over here as well when the vocal starts playing. So during the intro, the bass just stayed on the root note of the track, which is E. Um, but then when the vocal hits, um, it starts following the bass notes of the chords. So E, A, and then G. You can also see that here in the bass pattern. And then when the vocal is done playing, um, the piano is introduced as well as the piano top melody. And then um, the other drums that I just showed you as well. And that's everything for this kind of music and black coffee inspired Afro House track. If you have any questions about things that I did in this video or which I might forgot to show you, uh, then feel free to drop a comment and I will try to get back to you on there and reply to your comments. If you want to download the project file as well as all the other sounds that I used in this video, then use the link in the description. And for now, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.